We're currently in Atlanta. We're gonna board soon. We've got about half an hour, I think. We got food, which was, at least for me, very beneficial. One more flight and then a really long drive and then we're there. What, 45 minutes or so before Uber's supposed to get here? And an hour and a half-ish to get down to Dover. catch you up we flew today from Indy to Atlanta Atlanta to Philadelphia and then we ubered to where we're staying in Delaware and we're here oh, now Beautiful. Andrew's talking to someone I don't think I ever said we're going to Firefly which is a music festival in Dover we're going to Firefly to see My Chemical Romance and lots of other bands right now we are on the beach watching an insane sunset Andrew's also vlogging you should check out his channel. Delaware has never been on my list of places to travel to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be back. This is like gorgeous, it's ridiculous. I feel like I'm in Outer Banks or something. We made friends with a cat. You are so little. And put all our stuff in Airbnb and now we're here. We just ate lunch. We're here. We're almost here. It's about all the update I have, <laughs> but it's happening. It's windier than I was expecting. Oh, uh, it was also a farther walk. I'm heading to Gus Daverton now. This is what my schedule looks like for the day. I'm basically at the main stage for everything except the backseat lovers, which I guess means I'm basic, but. This looks so cool. which means as long as things go according to plan, we'll be like super close for my chemical romance, which is insane, so. There it is. Right.
the experiences and everything today because yesterday was really busy and I didn't get to see that. Okay, I checked out some of the booths and made myself an ankle bracelet, which is very cute. I also met a girl in mine who is in college and wants to do content creation, so it's really cool. She gave a very high recommendation of the silent disco, so I think I might go do that now. Let me look at my schedule again. So literally all I have today is the head and the heart bleachers and green day. Otherwise, no one I even know. I could I could still find bands, I might do that later. But right now I'm gonna go to the silent disco. Okay. There's a whole stand giving away free kiwis. I said, why are you giving away free kiwis? And she said, because we know you'll love it so much. The next time you go to the grocery store, you'll remember and buy this brand. I don't know if they have this brand in Indiana, but let's find out. It's really good. I'm not here, I don't get dressed, but I curse my bedroom, though I left it. But something had changed in me. Yeah, she touched me and said, I know you're not to blame, that's the way. I am out here with all these tents and people camping out and stuff and I'm kind of jealous like there's firefly tents and then you can just like camp out on your own which is pretty sweet I think that'd be fun but if I had the right group of people I'll look a fan oh my god it's a video <laughs> hi what's your name Lane. where are you coming from Indianapolis really okay well I just met a rapper from Indy so small world I don't know if you can see it this is today's lineup Floor's playing right now. I might go see them. And I think I'm gonna get some food. There, yesterday I got jambalaya and the same place had gluten-free tacos, so I think I'm gonna do that. I think it's about to storm and I'm not really looking forward to that. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go when that happens. If you were curious, we got evacuated for extreme weather and we're supposed to get in our vehicles, but we don't have a vehicle, so <laughs> we're just out here exposed. As my legacy, please ask everyone to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I want 
wanted to tell you guys just some of the stuff that I really enjoyed and a couple things that could be better slash some advice. Advice just as in like if you've never been to a music festival or anything before and you watch this, I don't know, to see what it's about. Things I liked. I think the best thing about this was just organization and timeliness and how well they had prepared. I've only been to one music festival before, which is called Forecastle in Louisville. I was only there for a day and it was in high school, so it was definitely a different experience. Um, but I remember sets starting like at least 20 minutes late and like watching sound checks a lot more frequently um, and things just being a lot more professional. It was also much smaller. But anyway, everyone started and ended pretty much exactly on time, which was really nice. The app was really helpful and pretty much always really easy to use which was nice it was huge it was really big i think there were like four or five stages total plus experiences plus shopping but everything was like easy to walk to and easy to navigate which was really nice there was one day that we got there at like three or something and i didn't have anything to like seven and i wasn't bored and there was stuff for me to do that i there was a lot of stuff for me to spend my money on but there was also a lot of free stuff so that was nice things that could have been better i think my biggest complaint which is probably covered and the terms and conditions that I didn't read would be the evacuation situation when we had like the extreme weather issue and we just kind of like had to move but didn't have anywhere to go. So it would have been nice if there was like an option or if they told us where to go or somewhere to be safe, but can't win them all, I guess. I think just like preparation is always the answer. I felt like I was pretty prepared. The only two things that I would change about how I prepared would be choosing a place to stay faster. Um, I think we picked our Airbnb, which was 30 minutes away. So we had to Uber a lot. Like we chose it like a month or two before we went. So, you know, like all the hotels and all the close Airbnbs and everything within walking distance especially was like already booked up. Also, being more prepared with food would have been huge. Um, we never like went to a grocery store and got food like to keep at the house so we were kind of surviving off like the one thing we could eat at the festival and then gas stations at night which is hard with celiac obviously but also just like not healthy in general and or eating balanced or whatever eating enough would have helped my experience personally advice prepare i was really anxious for this trip especially the traveling part um and it turned out fine and i kind of realized that like i can't like i'm capable of traveling by myself like i'm smart enough to do it always have your phone charged if you're bringing a camera charge your camera fully bring an empty water bottle so you can stay hydrated hydrate before come like full and having eaten enough and eaten the right thing to stand around in the sun for hours get as much sleep as you can listen to the bands ahead of time Sorry I haven't posted like it all this semester guys, it's been really crazy in, not really in school, but just in um, busyness and personal life and having interesting things to film and stuff like that. That's all I have, love you guys, talk to you later, bye.